Hi YouTube, this is TS. I am making a video to commemorate the launch of a self-improvement project which I am going to call Project 42. Um, I turned 42 in January of 2010 and I'm hoping that to make 2010 um, a great year for me for reclaiming my body. Uh, just a quick background on me, I found out uh, about a year ago that I have pretty severe obstructive sleep apnea and I think that's been one of the main causes for me fighting my weight um, for so long. And now that I have treatment for sleep apnea, um, I sleep with a CPAP mask which uh, covers my mouth and nose and has pressure so that it makes it easier to breathe at night. Now that I'm wearing that, I feel so much better than I have in many years. Even though I am now very, very obese, um, I still feel better than I have in years. So I think uh, a lot of the roadblocks that have been in my way for losing weight um, have been removed. So now I've got to go through the hard work of reclaiming my body. Um, I'm calling it Project 42 because uh, it has a nice ring to it. I'm a Douglas Adams fan and the Hitchhiker Guide to the Galaxy. Uh, shows us that uh, 42 is the answer to life, the universe, and everything. And I'm hoping that 42, um, the year that I turn 42, is going to be an answer to um, these weight struggles that I've had for most of my life. Um, so the plan is I'm taking the first two weeks of 2010 off. Uh, so that's January 1st through Sunday the 17th, which is my birthday. And those 17 days, I'm going to hit it. I'm going to hit it hard. I'm going to make sure I eat right. I'm going to go to the grocery store every single day and buy fresh food. I'm going to cook it and uh, I'm going to eat it and I'm going to eat the right amounts of it and uh, I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to exercise those 17 days and I'm going to try to break all these bad habits that I've gotten into um, over the zombie fog of sleep apnea that's been dragging me down the last few years. So, yeah, let's get to it. Uh, first thing I'm going to show you is just how bad things have gotten. Uh, as you can see from my face, um, I've got a lot of extra flab going on here. So this has all got to go. And uh, when we move on to my body, I will show you how, things, how bad things have gotten. Uh, just to give you a little frame of reference, I'm 5'10", and I weigh... 317 pounds this morning um, when I weighed myself and uh, it was only about 10 years ago that I weighed around 175 so I've gained a lot of weight over the last several years and uh, I did try and fight it I really did try and fight it but um, I never could really get a hold of it and uh, now in retrospect I realize what the problem was it's like my energy levels were really low um, that has a lot to do with uh, sleep apnea. Uh, whenever I tried to exercise, my heart rate would go through the roof and I would feel like crap for um, a couple of days afterwards. And that has a lot to do with sleep apnea. And um, I would get night cramps whenever I tried to weight lift, which is one of the uh, exercises that I like to do when I'm trying to stay fit. I would get night cramps. I would wake up every couple hours with uh, whatever muscle group that I worked really hard would be cramping up no matter what I did hydration wise or um, I would hydrate, I would take aspirin, I would take potassium supplements um, none of that seemed to help um, and now in retrospect it was probably because well I stopped breathing, CO2 build up, etc. Um, stopping breathing a lot while you're asleep uh, it's really hard on your body. <laughs> you get over and over shots of adrenaline. Uh, my heart rate, I bought myself a recording pulse oximeter that records my blood oxygen levels and also my pulse. And it turns out that when I was in REM sleep, I was, uh, my heart rate was going from 65 to 155 to 65 to 155 over and over and over again whenever I entered a REM cycle. Um, and I had no idea this was going on. I sleep alone. Um, I didn't know I even snored. So I bought this camera and filmed myself while I was sleeping. Um, and I thought that I was getting decent sleep. I was in bed several hours, dead to the world, 
Well, it turns out when I watched back the film, I was waking up every, every at least 20 minutes. That was about the longest I ever really slept was 20 minutes. And uh, when I would go into REM sleep, um, I would basically stop breathing, gasp, start breathing, stop breathing, gasp, start breathing. And that would happen over and over and over again every minute or two um, for the entire time that I was in a REM cycle. And uh, looking at the pulse oximeter, my heart rate's going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And so it's no wonder that my blood pressure was through the roof and the doctors were having a hard time controlling it with drugs. And uh, yeah, so now that, uh, now that I have CPAP therapy, uh, my blood pressure is almost down to a reasonable level, but uh, I am off all of my blood pressure medicine and uh, my heart has stopped freaking out and my EKG is clear and uh, I feel happier and healthier mentally and emotionally and physically um, than I have in years and years. Um, and uh, everything's good. So now it's just a matter of uh, doing the work to reclaim my body from the damages of going through this for the last several years. Alright, time to show you, uh, show you the bob that I've got and uh, what I'm up against. Alright, here you go. Uh, this is me. This is an extra, extra large t-shirt that I'm wearing, which is a little snug around the belly, but uh, I'm, as I said, I'm 5'10", 317 pounds. Um, I just have huge handfuls of extra me all over my body, and uh, it's got to go. It's got to go. Um, real quick. Take my five foot tape measure here and uh, see what I got going on. Let's see, for a chest, I'm at about 55 inches around the chest. Alright, here's the side view again. Got just huge amounts of body. My actual body should go something like like this, where pretty much everything out here needs to go. <laughs> but uh, let's take a look at my my waist. So, around the belly, I am around 60 inches. Yep, so uh, this is what I'm up against. 60 inches. Yeah, so that's about it. Uh, December 19th through December 31st is going to be sort of the warm-up stage of Project 42. Then January 1st through January 17th is going to be like the hardcore boot camp ah, portion of Project 42. And then hopefully from January 18th on, I'll be able to keep going and keep pushing myself. And I will have broken through that initial pain and suffering involved in making life changes. And we'll be able to keep it going throughout 2010 and uh, lose 140 pounds or so this year. Um, that's my goal. So I'll uh, probably do another video in a couple weeks and then another video a couple weeks after that. And uh, mostly these videos are to keep me motivated and to provide a record for myself so that I can look back at these videos and go, wow, was I really that big? Oh my god. And uh, keep me motivated for moving forward and not backpedaling on this. Um, but you know, if these videos also uh, inspire anybody else to get out there and get moving to figure out what's causing them to be overweight and to solve that problem and then reclaim their bodies, um, if this helps even one person do that, then uh, that will also be great. So wish me luck and uh, see you in a couple weeks.